and welcome to Big Boar Knife and Gear. Tonight, I'm going to talk about Bestech, and in particular, the Bestech Shinkansen, which is this beauty, beauty of a knife, on loan to me from Mr. Kyle Lanfear. I've been carrying this thing for about a week now, and it is absolutely fantastic. Oh, one little thing. You're going to hear a little bit of music in the background. Uh, you know, had a little bit of a rough afternoon just trying to unwind. Got some five-finger death punch going on. Fantastic, by the way. Anyhow, back to the knife at hand. This amazing, amazing best tech. Look at the absolute gorgeous anno job on this. Sorry about the lighting, too. I'm empty house and I'm in the kitchen and getting a little bit of glare. One thing that really caught my eye on this is this carbon fiber. This carbon fiber inlay on both the lock and show side is absolutely gorgeous. The camera's not going to pick it up very well, but if you look as it's down here, you can see this absolutely gorgeous reflective pattern that's in this carbon fiber. Fantastic. This is a front flipper. Let's get this thing open. Super, <laughs> ah, super smooth action. It's got this beautiful drop point style blade. Fantastic little small swedge built into it. The blade's actually been somewhat crowned. You know, it's, it's rounded, but not super round. Fantastic design. Titanium scales, titanium backspacer. Beautifully anodized. Titanium pocket clip. Fantastic carbon fiber inlays. It is a frame lock with a hardened steel insert. This thing was just an absolute joy to carry. Super easy in and out of pocket. Great retention on that clip. Really kept it in place. Very easy to get your hand in and out of pocket since the front flipper tab is actually behind the body of the knife. <laughs> Let me do that one more time. The, the action on this knife is just unbelievably smooth. <laughs> oh, good lord. I'm going to have a hard time sending this one back to you, Kyle. This is a fantastic knife. This is my first experience with the Best Tech, and it is an absolute beautiful, beautiful knife. It does have this two toned satin finish on the blade. Only logo on it is this little Best Tech logo, and then of course it's stamped with the steel, which is. S35VN has a beautiful hollow ground blade, super slicey. An absolute beautiful specimen of a knife. Man, this glare is killing me. Look at that anodizing. That's what blows me away the most is just how beautiful this knife is. Totally functional. But just a beautiful piece of art. The anno goes from gold to brown to purple and blue and just blows me away. The pit the, oh, hit the camera, sorry. The pivot on here is also machined and milled. Kind of a ramped style, so it's layered up to the top has beautiful anodized pivot collars on it just fantastic the only only gripe that I have on this whole knife and I don't know why they did this 
but the carbon fiber insert on the lock side overhangs the lock. So when it's closed, you do have just a slight little lip of carbon fiber right there, but again, that's just a personal nitpick. Did not in any way hinder the functionality of this knife. And <laughs> it gets me every time. This thing is smooth as butter. Completely drop shut. Just fantastic. I did not do any research. I have no idea how much this knife runs price wise. I was going to Google it and try and try and find one, but I might do that in the next day or two because I really, really like this knife. If any of you guys have handled one of these, not not Best Tech specifically, but this exact model, and forgive me if I'm not saying it right, Shinkansen or Shinkansen, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Get a little bit of measurement here before we call a call it a night on this video. We've got an overall length of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half inches. Blade length of one, two, three and three quarter. Cutting edge of one, two, three and three eighths. And that's going to give us a handle length of one, two, three, four and three quarter inches. So for my big old hands, this knife actually fits pretty much perfect. It does have some uh, jimping, which is actually on this, it's going to be the flipper tab. So when it's open, it is on the spine of the blade. However, it does sit below the scales slightly. So even though it's there, your finger barely grabs it, but it does actually work very well. It does have a nice little sharpening choil cut in there, which kind of doubles as a forward finger choil. It doesn't really get your finger too bad on the blade because it's angled out so it's not biting into your finger, which is very nice. So you can actually choke up on this. I've said it many times before, this kind of rectangular uh, shaped handle without any sort of finger grooves cut in or anything like that is probably the most comfortable design you can ever have on something like this. No hot spots whatsoever in my hand. Just an absolute joy to hold the news. Well this has been the Best Action Constant. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment because I love the feedback. And until next time, take care.